What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Cosset and on this channel, I love to tell you guys what to get, right? I'm always like, this is what's hot, this is what's trending, you guys will look good in this. And honestly, I have seen some of your photos on Instagram and I've seen you guys, I've met a lot of you in person here in New York and you guys all look amazing. But today's video is all about the tacky things that you shouldn't get, that you shouldn't buy. I figured there's gotta be a list of don't buys as well. You know, like just like this is not a good thing. And sometimes I see guys who, they look good. They look, they have potential, but they're wearing. For example, our number one on the list, a Gucci belt. Man, those are like four, five hundred dollars and they don't look that good. I think the thing with the Gucci belt is it just, it's so tacky. It's so tacky, it's so try hard, it's so big, that, that buckle with the GG on it, it's, come on man. I think, you know, there wasn't a time and a place for that. Back in the day, maybe for a little while it was hot, but let me tell you, it is not anymore. So if you're thinking about dropping four or 500 bills in a Gucci belt, let me tell you, that is not the way to go. There are plenty of other options that are not branded, that will cost you way, way, way less, and that probably have better quality. All right, just gonna let that out there. Also, by the way, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button below, because here we love to talk about men's fashion, grooming, skincare, and so much more, and I would love to see you here more often. Let's go to the number two on this list, and it's less of a thing to buy, but how to wear it, and I'm talking about how Hats. Now, I love hats. I wear hats all the time whenever I'm working out or just don't feel like blow drying my hair or doing my hair. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it this way, all right? I'm not really gonna wear it backwards unless maybe I'm working out, okay? That is about it. Backwards hats are just not a good look. They look very douchey, it looks very tacky, you look like a bro, you know? And it's not really what I want you guys to look like. It's not really what anyone, I don't think anyone's like, I wanna look like a bro today, right? I've never heard that before. If that's what you're going for, I got just what you need. It's a backwards hat, okay? Next on the list, chunky wallets. Like the big, thick ones. Look, for example, I love my dad. It's my dad, you know? But his wallet, like he pulls it out. And the thing, it's like a Big Mac, you know? It's like juicy, it's like this big. Like you can see, he walks around and his pocket is just out here because of, and I'm like, what do you even have in there? Why do you need that big, huge wall? It doesn't look good. It just does not look good. It's time for an upgrade. Today's video sponsor, Carl Friedrich, has an amazing wallet that just dropped and it's, oh, it is buttery smooth and best of all, it's very thin. Look at this, it's very modern. Their new Walden wallet is made out of premium Italian vachetta leather. It ages beautifully and it develops this like really unique patina after a while. It has these compartments here on the inside for cards so you can place them in vertically, which makes the, the, the wallet smaller, right? You can put, fit a lot more into a smaller wallet. This is handmade in Portugal. And let me tell you this, anything from Carl Friedrich is top notch. I've been working with them for a long time here on the channel. I have one of their suitcases like a really nice carry-on but they make weekender bags as well which I also have one uh, they make phone cases they make laptop cases iPad cases uh, they make messenger bags I mean they have so many amazing leather items that I highly recommend and the best part of it all because you guys are subscribed to the channel you get 15% off anything from Carl Friedrich. Just use this code that you're seeing on screen right here. It's AC015. By the way, this code is only valid for a month and then it will be removed. So make sure that you're using it now for the holiday season. And I mean, you, I mean, you guys already saw this, but how cool is this? You can actually personalize your items. And I decided to put my last name right here. It looks awesome. You can choose between silver, gold. I mean, they have so many options there. You can do, do your initials or anything. I think this is an amazing gift. Definitely make sure to go check it out. This is a very thin wallet. I think um, I'm gonna send this one to my dad. Uh, I think this is gonna be his Christmas gift. So dad, if you're watching this, sorry I spoiled it, but you're getting this for Christmas. Guys, go check out Carl Friedrich. It's the first link in the description below. The next item on today's list, look, earrings. I'm just gonna put it, if you're wearing earrings 24 seven, it's just not a good look. It's just not a good look. I actually used to wear earrings. I have both of my ears pierced, 
right when I turned 16 or 17, I pierced both of them and I had those big diamond studs here. Ah, uh, it just did not look good. It just did not look good. I mean, back in the day, I thought it did and looking at photos now, I'm like, why did I do that? I guess so I could have these, you know, thumbnails and, and photos for you guys, right? I gotta be embarrassed of something. So that, that was definitely it. That was a big embarrassment. But I see guys now, and it's kind of making a comeback to like one dangly earring, right? I think it's okay once in a while. I think if you're going for an edgy style, right? If you wanna switch up your style, put on an earring, that's cool. I think it looks cool. But if you, the type of guy who just wears earrings 24 seven, all the time, and maybe even the same earrings, come on. It's time for a change, switch it up, try something new, try not wearing earrings, at least for once. Oh, this next item on this list, I'm, it hurts me a little bit. It hurts me a little bit, but I gotta talk about it. It is Rolex Submariners. Now I have, I'm, let me get this out of the way, I have a Rolex Submariner, all right? And, and I love my Rolex Submariner. The thing about the Submariner is that it is such, it's such a popular watch. Right, like I feel like I see it everywhere. It was my first ever luxury watch. I got this watch when I reached a huge mile milestone in my career, in my life, which was a million subscribers here on YouTube. So I'm gonna have this watch forever. I'm never getting rid of it. It is my, my trophy watch. I love it. It means so much. But I will say, if I could go back in time, maybe I would have switched for something else just because I see it so often that it, it's almost not special any, as special anymore. And, and that hurts me a little bit, that hurts me a little bit. So, you know, what I would say is, look, the Rolex Mariner is an amazing watch. And if you love the watch, get it. You're not gonna regret it, get it. But I will say, think about possibly getting something more unique. Think about possibly getting something that suits your needs, that is different from everybody else's, because maybe, that will be better in the long run. So just food for thought, you know, from somebody who did get a Rolex Submariner and I didn't even pay, like I paid half of what it's going for right now because these watch prices are crazy. So I'm just letting you know, love the Submariner. I'm gonna keep mine forever because it has sentimental value to it and meaning, but um, yeah, if I could go back, maybe I would think about getting something else. Next on the list, not nearly as cool as a Rolex, Submariner. Square toed shoes. It's just, I don't even know why they exist. Uh, and I don't even know why, like some of these designer brands are trying to make them a thing now too. But it's just, no, it just does not look good. It looks horrible. And usually, you know, it's either the designer crazy brands that are trying something new just to be different. Or it's like, you know, the affordable shoes under a hundred bucks and they're just plain ugly and they, they have no brand. They don't, do not look good. They just don't look good. There are so many companies out there that offer a nice round toe, right? Or even if you want something that's less round and more pointy, not like this, but a little bit more pointy. I really like that style. I think it's more modern. I think it elongates your legs and your body. It makes you look taller. It gives like this visual illusion of you looking longer. So definitely go for that. Do not go for square toes, anything, because that does not look good. All right, this next item actually hurts me a little bit on the inside as well, okay? And that's because it's, it's, kind of, it's part of me, right? I'm, I'm Brazilian. If you guys don't know, I was born in Brazil. I grew up in Brazil and I moved to the US when I was 13 years old. Now Brazil created the Havaianas, the flip-flops, the famous flip-flops with the Brazilian flag on, you know, on top. And those things, it spread like fire, like fever. Like it's just everywhere now, right? It became like one of the things that Brazil's known for, which is mind blowing, right? Damn, they are ugly, man. They're just ugly and uncomfortable and I don't know why they became so popular. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Have I had Avianas? Yeah, I've had dozens of them. I've had them so much. So I liked wearing them because they had the Brazilian flag on them. I liked wearing them because I felt like, you know, I'm Brazilian, I'm supposed to wear this thing, but it, it just does, does not look good. It does not look good. I highly recommend you get something else that is way more comfortable, way more high end. And it, I'm not even talking about price. I'm just talking about the way that it looks. So get something that is more elegant, something that's more grown up. The Aviana flip-flops is just not the way to go. I also want to know from you guys, what is the tackiest thing that you used to wear that now you're like, you look back and you say, oh my, I can't believe 
that I used to wear that. I'm so glad that I stopped, but also I should have stopped sooner. Let me know in the comments section down below. I would love to hear it. And of course, if you're ready to upgrade your wallet, this is it guys. The Walden by Carl Friedrich is amazing. They have so many other products as well that are all high end. Use my code to get 15% off. That's an amazing deal. And it's a great Christmas gift as well. So go check them out. It's the first link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button below and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. It's at Alex Costa. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.